travel company, Business and Travel, is a company that is specifically... Hello world! Welcome to my channel. My name is Shanae Braxton and I am a travel and lifestyle content creator. Today I am here to talk to you about my travel company, Business and Travel, and I want to talk with you about the journey of where I was last year versus where I am today. And this is perfect timing because we're at the end of the year and I have grown this company and this idea so much since last year and I'm really excited to share the journey with you to share the growth. Business and Travel is a travel company for travel and lifestyle content creators that want to build a business around their love for travel and creativity. This idea was formed because my first travel vlog failed. My first travel vlog failed. I knew that at some point I would want to have a travel company. I just didn't know what type of travel company. And as I continued to develop content on my channel, business and travel came to light. It brought me back to my very first travel blog because I thought to myself, wow, if I had support around this idea of wanting to be a travel blogger, if I had reached out to other creators, I would have probably come farther along with that original idea than I am now today. And I'm very excited that I stuck with it this time. It's one thing to be able to research a topic and it's another to be able to connect with people that are like-minded. And that's the part that I was missing. And when I created Business and Travel, I started my very first Travel and Lifestyle Content Creators event here in Cleveland, Ohio. And I partnered with a restaurant, Sauce the City, and I met with other creators that are also interested in being travel bloggers, travel podcasters, travel bloggers, travel writers, and any company that's working in the travel industry and working to grow their business. Are you a travel and lifestyle content creator based in Cleveland, Ohio, and want to develop your storytelling skills while also partnering with brands? Well, I can help you. I'm hosting my very first travel and lifestyle content creators meetup on October 3rd here in Cleveland, Ohio, and I would love for you to attend the event and join the community. During this meetup, we'll start with a mastermind session discussing who we are, what we do, and how we can help each other. So I started this meetup group and I would share different resources that I had researched. Travel marketing and how to grow your content, how to grow your social platforms. And I knew that when I started my first travel blog, that wasn't information that I even thought to look up. My very first in-person event, there were about 10 of us that participated in this event and it was a success to me because that was my first time really putting myself out there and saying, hey, this is what I do. I'm a travel content creator. I have a YouTube channel. That very first event showed me that I had a viable idea and it was because people were interested in what I was doing. I ended up having to go from in-person events or that one in-person event to virtual events that I would host every month. During the virtual events, I would share a resource. And most of the time, it was a resource about travel marketing. I didn't have a large people, a large audience of people that were interested in what I was sharing. But what I saw was a few people were interested in it. And it excited me because I knew that this was something that I was interested in and it was something that I knew I was missing when I started my first travel blog, which by the way, was called The Wandering Word Artist. And I started it when I was a Peace Corps volunteer. I had no idea how to build out the theme. And that's where I failed. That's where I went wrong because I got so caught up in the functionality of my website and I got so focused on what I wanted the end result to look like with my blog that I got stuck in analysis paralysis. I got stuck in the end result and not in the journey. My events weren't growing as much as I had hoped. What I started doing was reaching out to creators directly. I wanted to learn more about their journey specifically. So as I'm doing these strategy calls, something amazing happens. I meet with a creator who I had known prior to me moving to Peace Corps and I met her at a travel conference. Fast forward to 2021, I reach out to her and say, I'm hosting these strategy calls for travel and lifestyle content creators. Would you be open to a strategy call with me? And she said, yeah, sure. Okay. Because I knew that once I would get on those one-on-one -on -one calls, I would have the opportunity to share more and to learn more. 
So as her and I are going through my questions that I ask each creator, she expressed to me this accountability group. And when she mentioned it, I thought to myself like, where were you last year? Now, 2021, the Business and Travel Club has six creators. I'm grateful because at each point, as I continue to push forward and grow my company, it, it felt discouraging at times. In order for me to keep going, I would create an event. I would create a, a challenge for myself that would push me to that next step, that next phase. And that's how I was able to push forward and keep going. Finally, a year later, there are six of us in this club and we have accountability to one another. And I really, really am so happy that I started to reach out to creators and have these one-on-one -on -one calls because without me reaching out it would have taken more time for people to understand what my goals were and how I was seeking to help not just myself but other creators that want to grow their business in the travel industry. We are a mastermind. We are a group of individuals that have come together to give each other advice, to give educational presentations, to give each other feedback, to receive feedback, to brainstorm and challenge our ideas. We've come together Together because we all have one common goal and that is to grow our brand and to grow our business in the travel industry. I knew that I wasn't the only one which is why I'm publicly sharing with you the journey from last year till now. I've been focused on how to take it to the next level. I'm looking forward to next year because I know that if I keep taking steps forward I'll grow and I'm really excited to be able to share this journey with you and not feel afraid and not feel like I'm being judged because that has had me in the shadows for too many years and I don't want to be in the shadows anymore and now I'm pushing forward past my fear past my own self-judgment and I'm sharing this with you not just with you but with my future self because I know that when I look back on this video I'll be like dad girl you did that and I'm very grateful for the openness of the creators that are currently in the club because I'm really looking forward to where we are next year. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and comment below, are you a Travel With My Style content creator? Is this something that you've ever thought about? Have you done it before and it didn't work out the first time? Would you do it again? I would love to hear from you. I hope that you like this video. This was more for me like public journaling. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my journey of where I was in 2020 starting the Business and Travel Club versus where I am in 2021 with members in the Business and Travel Club. And please feel free to check out the next video. And until next time, bye!